What's up? How you doing? We gonna get right into it, y'all. It's been a minute. It's been a while. It's been a month since I posted my last 20-something series um, episode. And y'all, first of all, before I get into this topic, I just want to get into like the little, the fits. Ugh, you see my little ankle? I don't know. I just thought it was so cute. It's giving carefree and just loose. loose. I don't know. It's cute. It's cute to me. But um, today we're going to be talking about um, dating culture and toxic relationships. Okay. Let's get into it. First thing I want to say, don't y'all agree that there is piss and shit in the dating pool? Like something is going on. Like I don't know what we done did to dating culture, but it's ridiculous because a lot of women are having this you know first of all i love the women that's sitting here and going on the grind and you know getting how they live but i don't agree with the well if it if it's you to not want to be in a relationship period then cool that's fine but i don't need a man and then turn around and be like I don't know why I'm single. I don't know. Like, you're like all men are ain't shit. You keep attracting the same man because you ain't dealt with the shit that you you had going on in the past. You got some underlying stuff that you're you're attracted to something in that type of person. Which is why you keep realizing that you're attracting that same person and the people that don't have those qualities that are interested in you you're not attracted to them because you know us girls we're like i like my type maybe your type is not for you anymore you need to step out your comfort zone you know what i'm saying maybe you need to get out your city maybe you need to get you know get out more go go hang out at the places that brings you joy maybe it's the coffee shop maybe you need to go to the bookstore maybe you need to go to a club maybe you need to go to the fair you know what i'm saying somebody that like going on adventures and going out with friends and stuff you know what i'm saying but as far as toxic culture bro it's so romanticized to be in a toxic relationship now i'm not saying that all relationships are supposed to be just clean, clear, no arguments, da da da. Of course, arguments are gonna happen. That does not completely make the whole relationship toxic if y'all go through a, a argument stage in a relationship that's normal. Um, and it's also normal to not have arguments, just conversations about your disagreements. But it is toxic when you're constantly degrading or disrespecting or con consistently doing something that person is not okay with and is beyond their boundaries. It's, it is when you're, you feel like you can do something that they cannot do and you get upset with them because they do what you don't like, but you do what you like you don't like at the same time that's your feet controlling and narcissistic but um yeah there's a lot of people that like going out and just you know hurting people just for the fun of it using people just for the fun of it it's a lot of energy vampires out there I'm just too much like especially being in really in your teens or your 20s or you th really this is an overall message like right now it's just too much going on in the dating pool you just gotta find that one headache you're willing to deal with and just settle down when you're ready 
you know, don't don't settle down and even know you in your whole face. Out here breaking horse. I'm talking y'all. Yeah. I was there too. <laughs> but um <laughs> sip C. <tea. laughs> but um no, just live in your own personal journey. Don't let people on the internet again the internet to make you want to rush and get this and be with somebody and settle down and have children and da, da, da. if that's not your route don't go that route because you're gonna be miserable because that's not what was for you do what makes you happy you don't have to settle down and find the love of your life at 20 you don't have to do it but you can it's possible that's what you want to do. If you want to settle down, go ahead and settle down. Find you a nice woman, man, whatever you're interested in. And just settle your ass down. Have y'all a kid or two. And, you know, get your money. Make sure you're on your goals and your ambitions. And don't let that be the only priority you have. Make sure you still remember who you are. And honestly, I also want to get into like what's going on in my life because you know this, this is my series so um y'all I've been in a season of trying to find myself I think that's most of us right now around the 20s 20s to 30s a little bit before maybe 18 to the 30s I'm trying to figure out who I am, what I am. I just did a whole little social media cleanse. Um, I took, like, temporarily disabled my Instagram. I took down my TikTok. Well, not took it down, but, you know, I just deleted it off my phone. Haven't been on it since last Friday. And I'm just trying to find who am I, honestly. I'm just trying to find my purpose. Like, I know some of my dreams and goals and my aspirations right now. But I'm trying to get back to who I am outside of social media. I feel like I go on social media and I try to rush things. And I try to make myself be a person that social media is portraying as the ideal person. And there's everybody's journey is different. You know what I'm saying? It's not one ideal person to be. You don't have to always wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning and get your day started. And Sometimes it's not even realistic for certain people who have certain type of jobs or certain type of mindsets. Maybe it's not for you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to get to understanding and accepting who I am in my personal journey and making me closer to God, praying every day. Um, I am Christian, so I do read the Bible. Um, just trying to build my relationship with God, myself, my journey. Trying to figure out who I am. Not trying to get back to who I was before a lot of stuff happened. But necessary, but trying to take everything I've learned, everything I felt, everything I'm going through, and trying to move with intention of knowing what I don't want, who I don't want to be, what I don't want to be with, what I don't want to be surrounded with. I'm just trying to get to know me, honestly, my self identity. Because, like, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure life out. Everybody's trying to figure life out. And I'm just winging it at this point. And I don't know, sometimes I feel like I'm behind because I'm still learning how to drive on the expressway at 20. But some people don't even have a license at 20. So I guess, you know what I'm saying? I'm not that bad off. But I'm also trying to deal with building my confidence, building my self-esteem just trying to tell myself that no one is more superior than me regardless if you know that you are that girl you know that you are someone important on the inside whoever surrounding you doesn't even matter because you they're just another person to you 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to walk into the room and be like, I'm meant to be in this room. Sometimes I walk into the room and I feel like, oh my God, what if they're judging me? What if they what if they think I look some type of way? I, I get to rush in at the self-checkout. I get to overthinking and overanalyzing and just not being in the present moment. Too worried about what other people think. And I realized when I stayed on campus, um, the first time I was moving, like, I, without a care in the world. I was going to the mall, I went shopping, I got my nails done in the mall. Right now, for me, just moving on my own without telling anybody and doing something, I feel so anxious. And I'm trying to get back into that carefree spirit, that happy-go-lucky, just trying to get not even always happy but in tune with my emotions figure out how to break through my emotions i feel like i've clamped myself in like a shell and i'm trying to protect myself i'm not trying to venture out and i close myself out to like family and friends and connecting and just having new experiences because what feels at home it's home. It's my comfort. And some people find comfort in like, you know, being around friends and family and stuff like that. I find comfort in isolation. But too much isolation, you start to lose connections to other people. You know what I'm saying? Losing, you know what I'm saying? You're losing that connection to other people. The, my ability to sit here and hold conversations with a stranger and just, I don't know how to connect anymore. I'm trying to learn how to, oh wow, am I gonna cry? Emotional, emotional. <laughs> no, but I'm trying to learn how to connect to people again and get back to myself. But the news, y'all, I'm gonna go back to college. I took a semester off for the fall, but I'm gonna go back in January. And hopefully, it's a better experience. I'm still gonna be staying at home though. Um, and yeah. Uh, I do want to try to get a certification in the field that I'm looking towards doing, but um, right now I'm just working, just working. So that's and I've been, but I have realized that on this little break or whatever, I've been talking to my family and hanging out with my family a lot more and hanging out with friends a lot more so i'm happy about that i feel like god told me to take this break that i need to get myself together i knew i was burnt out i was over with i didn't i really was finna just be like fuck nursing but we're gonna keep that nursing that nursing um journey going okay back in january it's gonna restart over well not restart over but because i'm going into my junior year but we're gonna go in with a different mindset a better mindset and just try to stay positive and move through the motions so yeah that's all i got for today if you haven't already go ahead and make sure you like comment and subscribe to me on the shmoney gang period love y'all see y'all next time